Hey, what's going on, everybody? We are plowing a bunch of snow here today. Let's get on into it. As always, over 67% of you are not subscribed. If you want to help a pickle out, then click that subscribe button to join the Pickle Jar community. We are trying to beat Austin Farmer to 100,000 subscribers. Can we do it? We are, uh, well, we're just up here at our yard, our main yard, and we're trying to get our equipment plowed out here so we can get the trucks out onto the roadway. We have got a bunch of snow to deal with here today, and there's no way that this little truck is going to handle it all. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. There you go. Ooh. Almost got us stuck already. So we're just going to clear out a path for uh, for our vehicles to be able to get around in the yard here. Ooh, we are sliding on ice right now. Come on. This is a big old pile to try and push. Come on, Cummins. Into the fence, I guess. Okay, good enough. That's good enough. We can put this truck away, and we're going to get out the other truck, and uh, we're going to get out on the highways here today. So we're just going to back this guy right up over into here, and that'll do right there. Go and shut it down. Shut off the lights, at least. Put that back down into the ground. Shut it off, and let's step on outside. So we got this big old DOT truck to use here today. Got the expressway plow on the front end. No side wings running here today. We do have a salt spreader on the rear end that we need to fill up with some salt real quick. And we've got a massive pile of salt sitting here at the yard. So first thing we're going to do is hop up in the Mac, get it fired up and ready to roll. So we're going to let that warm up and we're going to get up in the W900 here, the New Holland uh, wheel loader. And we are going to pick up this load that we've already got pre-scooped into the bucket. And uh, we're going to load up some salt into the back end of our truck. We just got hammered with a big old snowstorm. So we really got to get out and get the roads cleared as best we can. So we're going to put some salt into our uh, our bed here. And we're going to try and get all on out and get the road cleared up. We got chains on the tires just in case uh, here it is a little uh little dicey a little icy out so we got to be a little careful all right we got the truck all filled up we're gonna put the the uh the wheel loader back and just park it right here for now let's get on up in the truck and get out to work all right we are gonna hit the road let's go ahead and make sure that that plow gets put down we'll leave it just like that we don't actually have as wide of a reach as that uh pickup plow has which is surprising that thing is a beast but i think we are good to go let's go ahead and push this pile right on out onto the roadway there we go and we are clearing the road now this is this is problematic oh car don't ramp it oh oh ow oh come on baby come on baby don't you be stuck on me already. There you go. There you go. It's going to bother me if cars have to deal with that big old mound like that. So we're going to just kind of uh, get rid of that. They can they can traverse the snow, but the mound is a problem. See, right now they're having to swerve around this big mound that I made pulling out. So I got to I gotta get that cleared and taken care of before we continue our, uh, our journey on down the road here. I know this seems like a very unorthodox way to plow a road, but... I had to get out to the road, and the only way to do that was to make a massive snow pile on it. But there we go. We got that snow pile off the roadway, at least. Now let me just swing this into here like so, and that way our truck traffic can continue. Okay, good. Now we can actually get back out on the road and do our job as we're supposed to. And we're going to turn on the salt spreader. Sorry, car behind me, but you should have known better than to get so close to a plow truck. And we're rolling. We're not only are we uh, spreading salt, but we're pushing the plow and everything's going just fine. At least as long as that car stays back there, they're going to get a pretty uh, clear r ride on through. Now, I do realize that I was just probably clearing a little bit uh, too far to the side of the road. I should have been clearing more towards the middle and pushing it back out. So we'll correct that the next few roads that we go by. In fact, we'll start to correct it here. I'm going to slot over and try and get closer to this uh, yellow line on the inside and focus on clearing that a little bit better. And right, we're going a little too fast. We're missing bits and pieces, so I'm going to slow it back down and try and maintain our speed. And we'll see how this goes here. It's going pretty smooth so far, though. Going smooth. Cars uh, still you know, back there right in, right in our rear end, but 
I guess if they don't mind some erosion on their vehicle being that close to the salt, then that's their problem, right? But as you can see, there are a few areas here like this that uh, the snow actually just kind of drifted over onto the road. You can see right there, that's a big old drift. Big old drift happened right through here. So we had some uh, some pretty good straight line winds coming through with that uh, snowstorm that just hit recently. Wow, that is a big old, big old mound of snow, isn't it? Woo. Want to make sure we get plenty of salt on that bridge there, just in case there's any black ice. Holy cow. The roads are just completely covered. I'm just kind of guessing my line of where I need to be. It is almost impossible to figure out where these roads are and are not. And we're, we're swinging on over into the other lane there a little bit, but we should be doing fine. Is that car still following me back there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got a little bit of a party going on behind us. Well, at least we're getting a clear ride. They don't have to drive through the snow like that poor sucker right there. So we got a lot of side streets and stuff in the towns that we could clear. But our main focus is going to be getting the county roads open right now. So we're going to pass this right through the center. Right through here. And we're going to continue straight on this road. Come back and clean out that uh, intersection entirely. And then get that... Oh, North-south road there done, most likely. Wow, look at that. Even the ponds are froze over this morning. It's a cold one. Whew. I'm just hoping that we don't get stuck or anything. I would love to be able to just stay inside my nice, warm, heated cab here. Um, if anything happens that forces me to get out, I'm going to be... I'm, I'm going to be a very not-so-happy pickle. I'll tell you that much. All right, so we're coming up to the end of the county. This would be the county line, some might say. <laughs> so we're going to come to a stop right up here. And right there we'll do. Back up. Okay, car. Let me turn off my... Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, look. This, this is under my jurisdiction. I got to turn around. So feel free to find your way through that massive pile. You got to back her up. Get back on the road. Oh, this is why we got chains. Oh, okay, car. You're either going to... You, oh, you clipped my plow, you jerk. All right, get her turned around, angled, drop, and we will go back the other way. Perfect. It's a little bit easier when you uh, when you go down a road that you've already made one pass on. The second pass is a little easier for us to manage because we can kind of tell where we are a little bit. Uh, and we might not be perfect in the lanes, but it's it'll be big enough for traffic to be able to flow before we come back out and fully push to the full side of the uh the highways the initial clear is to just get traffic flowing uh, and then we come in and try and push it all the way out to the ditches so we don't get bad you know drifting and so we can get the roads as clear as possible so our first objective is to hit all the main roads at least once and then we can begin to hit uh, the minor roads and re-hit the main roads to widen them back out. And these cars, I'm sorry, but you're going to get plowed in, bosses. You're just going to have to deal with it. So we're going to continue right on through here. Hopefully nobody nails us. Okay. And I'm going to angle it off back this direction since there's a road here, roughly. That'll do. We're going to pick up our blade. And watch for traffic as we back out back onto the highway. Please, nobody hit me. Okay, so we got backed out of there. Now we're going to come down to here. And I'm going to round out this one. To create an opening to continue down this road here. And we're going to just follow this until we can find a road to turn it off on to the right side. There should be a road right up here. All right, I see a street sign right here. So let's crank it. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. And there we go. Pick up the plow. Watch for traffic again. No one's coming from that direction because the train just came from there. And what I can do is now drop this down, go back this direction, clean up this. And of course, we are going to watch out car. Woo-wee! We are going to still clean up these roads here, but I got to get the mounds fixed so traffic doesn't have to jump them like that. So now let's turn this. Now I got to watch not turn too tight as to lose it. Ah! Owie! Um, I don't want to talk about it. Do you not see a snowplow truck here? Hello? 
Uh, brakes. You do realize they work, right? Okay. Let's... No, 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 no. Ah, uh, hate traffic. I make my life overly difficult. All I'm trying to do is plow the snow. Is that, That's all I want to do. Okay. We got that opened up. Good enough. Now let's get this other one opened up before I get bombarded. Please don't turn here. Ow. I hate all of you. I hate you. I hate you with a absolute burning passion. I despise you. Uh, I guess he at least turned us around to be able to get this cleared. So let's turn this. Ooh, a little tight. We'll take it. Jeez. Come on, snow. I'm bouncing off the snow banks over here. Okay. Now, I can finally continue my work. Holy cow. Intersections suck. But guys, I think that is going to do it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Pretty easy little video. Uh, nothing, you know, nothing really went all that wrong today, which is good. Usually things go horrible. So, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. And uh, until next time, I'll see you all later. Peace. I'll slice you up like Juzo, Susie, uh, Austin from a bro. Nah, I never heard of ya. You ain't nothing like me. I'm Ken Kaneki while you're just extra number three. Yeah, I'm a pickle. Yeah, I got sick flow flowing so smooth. You just got rip roll. Never gonna give up. Never gonna let down. Never gonna let you pass me back now. My views climbing. Your star dropping. You hop in and ask what's popping. I say nothing.